It has officially been one week living full time in our RV. Did you bring out my hat? I just did a killer intro and you just like <laughs> ruined it because of your hat. Yeah, I know. I. Skagit Valley Fair. In Mount Vernon, Washington. Yes. Um, we just got here. It's ginormous. We got lucky we were able to find parking on the street so we didn't have to pay for parking or walk too far. So That's that true. Really nice. This is a, this fair is a lot bigger than we thought it was actually gonna be. talk about a cool thing that happened to us so you might know about nomadic fanatic he is pretty well known in the RV community Eric and Jax. yeah so we've been watching them since we started making this whole decision to, to go full-time and so we were going to the store the other day and we saw his RV in the parking lot Yep, he had his logo on it and everything, so we knew it was him. And me turned in like fanboy, I got super excited. Um, so we went over, talked to him, met him. A uh, great person. Uh, we got a picture with him, so we'll. Uh, so I got I got super that. excited. Like I was like, yeah, this is like almost kind of like meeting a celebrity. Like this is this is happening. Like, this is, is really like, cool. He is like the celebrity of like the RV community. And I think it's I think it's just because. We've been following him ever since it began, and we're you know we're following a bunch of other people too. But I mean, it just kind of kind of evolved into seeing him, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, so when we did meet him, I, I like my brain disappeared. I didn't ask him anything about things that he would recommend for us to do, or like maybe even see if we could do a collab video with him or something. Like I just I just went like blank like. Oh my gosh, we're talking to him. Support was like, hey, let's get a picture with him because we didn't have a camera or anything. We just had, you know, our phones. He is pretty cool and wanted to share that with you guys. But it doesn't happen unless uh, you take a picture. It hasn't happened unless you got proof. So we got the picture with him to show that we did get to see him, did get to see Jax. Um, so just meeting him. Uh, on the trip before we even started going full-time just makes me super excited to start traveling and actually meeting you guys, too uh, So we're gonna be posting our Like our trip of where we're gonna be going. Our route. Yeah, the route. We're, we're gonna, gonna be, map it out And uh, we will let you know and then we really really want to be able to meet up with all of our followers That would be really cool uh, and get to know you guys Actually been one week since we went full-time in our RV and let me tell you there has been a lot of probably ups and downs but overall it's been amazing yeah it's been a great week so we just want to share with you guys um, some things that we've learned and just our experience so far definitely okay so we are traveling with an infant she is feeding right as we speak um, it's been 
pretty good. We have a little nook for her in the corner in the living room uh, with the little wheelie cart. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Super easy to roll around. Yep, and we also have a setup in our bedroom as well. So at nighttime, she just sleeps in there um, just to make it easier for those nighttime feedings and stuff like that. So overall, traveling with her has just been a breeze. It hasn't had any big different transitions at all. Um, bath time, um, we have a portable bathtub. So it, it makes it super easy. We just had to put water in it and really we can just give her a bath anywhere. We can give her a bath on this table if we wanted to. So. Um, yeah, it's been amazing traveling with her. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary as far as yeah. as far as children go. So the next thing we wanted to share was our dog. So we are traveling with a miniature schnauzer, Bella. You guys have seen her on our channel before. Um, she's used to having a yard. Pause. Oh, that's a backhoe. Our dog Bella is used to having a yard and a doggy door in our um, old house so she could just go in and out whenever she wanted to. Um, so that's been a huge transition for us is having to get up and take her for a walk to go to the bathroom and um, just be conscious about about her schedule. So when I wake up, when I go to work, yeah, I will wake up and take her outside so that she could go to the restroom before I start my day. And then it's the same thing we do right before bed, you mm -hmm. know, and then throughout the day. But this is something that was completely different for us because like, like you said before, you just she kind of did whatever she wanted to. Exactly. And then the other thing as well, since we are in an RV park, um, they have the leash rule. Um, so there are a lot of other dogs and people around us and um, she's not very used to that either. So we're getting her trained not to always bark at every little thing. So that's been a transition as well. And um, actually the first day that we became full-time, she ran away. So um, if I wasn't running with Finley strapped to me, like trying to catch her, I would have videoed that. That would have been hilarious. But um, we ended up catching her. <laughs> we ended up catching her and um, we haven't had any issues since, but yeah, that definitely wasn't the best thing. He was at work, I was alone with the baby. It was just, yeah, it was a whole thing. But overall, um, just if you are gonna be going full time with pets and you're used to having like the luxury of a, a doggy door, just know that it's gonna drastically change when yeah. you are on the road, so. So, so, so we've done a whole renovation and you would think that, you know, we would have looked at the sink itself, but after, um, after we turned the faucet on for a while, Courtney found uh, some leaking underneath for the little storage area. Mm -hmm. And we looked up in the sink and realized there's this, this leak, and, but you can only really see it if you push it up. And um, for, yeah, for people that don't know, like RVs, like you try and make them as light as possible. So this sink is, is plastic. It's so crazy. It like breaks and like it has melted spots from like water being too hot, all from the previous owner. Yeah. So we didn't think of anything of it, but yeah. Um, we had to, so we're replacing, I'm actually replacing that today. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm putting a, a new sink in there, another plastic one, because the metal one won't fit. Yes. Um, another thing too is, we're in Washington state right now, so it's not like extremely hot or anything like that. We have like an amazing summer here. The weather's yeah. awesome. Um, but in an RV, like it gets hot really fast. So it, we had to actually come outside to film this because it was so warm in there. It just drastically changes throughout the day. So um, being home all day, I have to like try and navigate like, okay, when, when do I turn the fan on and when do I open this? and you know that and mm -hmm. um should i turn the ac on so that's just kind of been a trial and error thing as well um just with having a dog and a baby you have to make sure it's not too hot but we do have the we did put these things in the window and it seems to be helping a ton i don't know if you want to talk about it um, take a picture yeah pretty much you just put the stuff it's like the uh therma i don't know a lot of people it's it like what you windows. put in your window of your car, like a sunshade. Yeah, it's, it's like, like that, sunshade. but it's but it's thicker. Mm -hmm. It's not that. It's kind of completely different. But. Yeah, but it just adds some 
insulation as to keeping heat or the cool air in so as well. So we're gonna take we're gonna take that and pretty much I've filtered it around each window and then I bought some fabric and I'm gonna I'm gonna sew fabric around it. That way it doesn't look like just a ugly a shiny, mesh. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just look like up against the window. It'll be super nice, just like a like a dark brownish. Mm -hmm. um, right now, piece. right now it's just helping with um, the sun. It's just where we're parked. It's just the sun j is coming in where the couch is at. So it's just very hot during the day, like especially in the afternoon. And then we are going to be traveling where it is like cooler in like the winter months as well. So that'll be even helpful then as yeah. for the heat. On the very first night we were moving in here, we got about half of the items we needed and then the next morning we were going to go back to the previous house and then just bring the rest of it. Well, we did that, but I left a lot of the stuff in the bed of the truck. We checked. It was super late at night, so we were like, yeah, we let's checked go to bed. the temperature or we checked the weather. Yeah, we checked the weather and it said 10% chance of rain. So we're like, perfect, this is good to go. Well, that night we woke up to uh, just immense amount of rainfall, which so everything got soaked. Uh, the next morning we had to throw some of the stuff away just because it was, it was too waterlogged. Yeah, I, I like woke up in the middle of the that night because it was like newbie. so loud and it was like, well, and plus, I mean, living in Washington, like it rains here all the time. So the, the fact that we even thought that there was a zero, like 10% chance, like, oh, we're fine. No. Okay, so this is the, the first time we've been in an RV park setting for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. And just in here watching all the people come and go, that's really nice. Everybody here is super nice. Mm -hmm. Even the guys that are just staying for a night are super happy. They wave at you. Like I haven't come across like an angry person yet, and I'm sure there are, but we haven't seen them yet. Everybody's yeah, every, been super great. Everyone's been super friendly, especially um, we're like sleep training Finley right now. And she's also going through that four month sleep regression like we talked about in our last video. And she cries a lot. So the fact that our neighbors and like people that are walking by, they just ask like, oh, how old is she? Like they're very, very nice about it. Yeah. You know, not having to worry about. It's great. Yeah, it's, great. it's just a really, really good atmosphere. Our fridge is tiny compared to our residential fridge, so we've been eating uh, a lot of salad, a lot of grilling outside, cooking the meat outside, and then just matching that with the salad inside, mm -hmm. and then we're good to go. Super easy. Yes. And I'm getting a smoker, so I'm super excited to be able to smoke some steaks and stuff. Heck yeah. In the future. Heck yeah. So even though it has been a week, we are yeah. still slowly putting stuff away. Yes. Um, we didn't bring a lot, but it definitely takes up a lot of space. So um, just going tote by tote, hanging stuff up on the wall, um, just making it homey. It's taking a little bit longer, but. So on my end, yeah. I have a lot more construction stuff to do. I still have to do a lot of the molding and, and like we're doing the sink again. And mm -hmm. But overall, I feel like everything's coming together. Oh yeah, this is yeah. great. This is 100% past my wildest dreams. Like I would totally mm -hmm. do this again. Since I am home all day with Finley, I've noticed that I've just been wanting to get out more. Um, not necessarily because I'm in a smaller space, <laughs> 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 but just because it's so nice here. Um, there, this resort is absolutely beautiful. There's tons of walking trails. Um, it's just beautiful outside all the time. So I just found myself not being stuck inside watching TV like I used to um, during the day. So yeah. So packages, we've been super lucky enough to be able to be at a place where UPS can deliver straight to our campsite. That's super cool. Another cool thing, another cool thing that this place has that we're super lucky to have is Wi-Fi. It's not fast. It's like the speed of dial up, but I can still upload a video, edit and get things done without having to go to Starbucks or I don't know, some other like McDonald's. Yeah, it's, it's really nice too, because well, the only thing about the Wi-Fi that I would say isn't the best is that you can't use it on your phone and um, like you can't stream, stream as well. So we can't use like our Fire TV or anything like that. So we've had to we've had to go old school. We got our Blu-ray player and um, some DVDs and stuff. So I mean, it's I haven't really had an issue with any of it. Our phones, we have unlimited everything, so um, we're able to just stream on there. And is tired and it's nap time for all of us yep so we will see you guys in the next video